Hello, hello, my YouTube viewers. How are you today? Great stuff, great stuff. So today I'm talking about um, Talimwanza and Margaret Manakatwe. So who will I start with? Um, well, there's a lot of talk about what's been going on on social media. And um, when I saw the post, I thought, oh, well, I'm a new blogger in town all the way from Brisbane, Australia, and I'm Zambian by birth, and I love the politics of Zambia, and I love what's going on in Zambia. I follow it religiously. So yeah, I saw the post that Natali Mwanza posted, and the post, when I, as soon as I saw it, my first instinct was, wow, 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 what can I say? Well, the truth of the matter is, when I saw it, uh, to me, it illustrated a few insecurities coming from Mutale Mwanza. And I was very surprised. Do you know why I was surprised? Because Mutale Mwanza is a beautiful woman. She's a great woman. Mutale Mwanza has really, really done so much for herself. And I was like, wow. You know, to us as mental health workers, we thrive. That's where we thrive in environments like that because we recognize that, you know what, no matter how much somebody is succeeding, they've got their own insecurities. They've got their own, uh, they've got their own things that's underlining underneath that we do not see. So for me as a mental health worker, as a psychology student wanting to be a, a counselor one day, those people like that could be potential clients of mine, you know, including Margaret Moana Katwe. So the, my point is a lot of people carry a lot of um, underlying trauma or pain or something that they're struggling with. It may not be trauma. It may not be pain. It may just be something that doesn't sit well in inside the, this tummy. And that's why... What we see on the surface is a reflection of what's happening in your belly, underneath. Things that we never saw maybe in your upbringing or maybe right now as an adult. And as an adult. So, well, Mutale Mwanza, for those who don't know, I'm sure all of you know, she wrote a post to say, which B would you vote for? Would you vote for this but this be with who, 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 who's an influencer for bio oil or would you vote for this one who who's who's who, would you vote for booze pretty much that's what the, the her post was and everybody reacted others were for mutale others were against mutale who cares who cares who's on which side that's not the point i'm i'm making this video the point i'm making this video is because at the end of the day, Mutale Mwanza clearly has underlying issues that you and I can't see. And for me, as a mental health worker, straight away, I pick it up. I pick it up. That's where my business starts. That's where my my, 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 my career is. My career is for people in is going through such, such situations. So clearly, Mutale Mwanza is running a race, and she's doing so well. And if Mutale Mwanza ever gets to see this video, Mutale Mwanza, you're gold. You are running a race and you are doing so well. So stick in your lane, girl. You know what? I wanted to mention a few things that I've noticed about you, Mutale Mwanza. You are brave. You are strong. You've gone through a divorce. And you know, in Zambia, people look down on, on, on women who've gone through a divorce. People look down on women who've... Who, who, who are single and look at you girl you are single you are succeeding you're you, you, you you're, you're achieving great things that a lot of us dream of even the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these things even that the heathens seek will be added unto you so we all seek for a house we all seek for that car house money car that's what we all want you know and mutale mwanza you've achieved those things you've shown us girls that you know what nothing is impossible i i, I watched one of your videos and you, you you shared that you had gone to mindolo to study journalism i forget where else you went but at the end of the day you've studied journalism and now you're you're working for FM radio and you're doing so well. You've bought yourself a 
Range Rover, guess what? Some of us live in Australia. I personally can't afford a Range Rover. The last time I checked, a Range Rover is a hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Well, I wouldn't really invest in a Range Rover because I've got private school to pay for and those come first. So we've got other, pro we've got different priorities. And for you, girl, you managed to take your son to a good school. You managed to build two houses, which a lot of us aspire to achieve. And you take your child to a good school and you're making it. You're so brave. You've faced politicians that uh, arrogant maybe is the word. You, you you stand up. You know, one time you, you brought a crowd to say, oh, voting is not important. And then every sudden you change your mind and you carried a lot of people to go vote, which was for a good cause. At the end of the day, you are human and you make mistakes. And guess what, girl? Fix your crown. Fix your crown, put it back on and keep shining. Because guess what? You're inspiring a lot of girls. You're inspiring a lot of women out there who would love to achieve just like you do. You look good. You've got expensive hair, nails done, and sunglasses. You've made it in life, Mutale Mwanza. So you're running your own race. Remember, the race is not for the swift. That's what Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 says. The race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong. No food for men of understanding, but only time and chance happens to them all. So for you, Mutale Mwanza, time and chance has happened to you and appreciate your race. Appreciate your journey. Stop comparing yourselves to other people. So when I saw that, I could see underlying issues on your part, Mutale Mwanza, and your part was you've got underlying issues clearly. You're doing well and, and be content. Because guess what? Run your race and you know what? You've made a mistake. It's a small, it's a small boo-boo. Fix your crown and move on. You've apologized. I think you've carried yourself so well. Well done, Mutale Mwanza. Now... The, the now one thing you need to recognize is we're all running our own race you've you've just raised you you thank you for this situation mutale mwanza thank you for your for your mistake because guess what we can work on your mistake and we all make mistakes probably some of us have made those mistakes but because we're not for we're not public people we're, we're not out there like you are nobody notices them and nobody puts us down you made that mistake and unfortunately you had to be wired by a lot of people you had to be wired by the whole country so your mistake was shared in public and that's the disadvantage of being a, an influencer a social me media uh, successful person so unfortunately it happens in hollywood as well if hollywood people make a mistake like Jada Pinken, she had an entanglement with August. Everybody, it was everybody, everybody was involved in her business. So you're, you're, it's during the same situation. You're in the limelight and, and everybody happens to be involved in your business, which shouldn't be the case. It should have been your mistake. You fixed it and you did so well. Well done. But we need to learn from this experience. We are all running our own races. We're not, we're, the race is for the swift. It's not for the swift or the battle for the strong, but time and chance happens to all of us. So yes, Mutale Monza is running her own race and we learn from her. What can we learn from her? We can learn that, yes, we all make mistakes, but guess what? The, what we learn is we're running our own race. You cannot compare yourself to, to Margaret Mwanakatwe. Margaret Mwanakatwe is another woman of substance. And I'm not comparing you two. Because guess what? You're both different. You both bring value to the community, to, to Zambia at large. When I was a little girl, I looked up to Margaret Mwanakato. I remember I was five years old and I was born, I was born in 1981. So that, that was in, in the 80s. I, it should have been in 1985. Margaret Mwanakato was already in the limelight. When I was growing up as a little girl, when we first had national TV, black and white, you saw Margaret Mwanakato on the, on the TV. She was in the limelight. She was shining. And when I was a little girl, I looked at Margaret Mwanakato and I said, when I grow up, I want to be like Margaret Mwanakatwe. She was, she was talking money. She was talking foreign exchange. She was talking running the country's money. 
She is a well-educated woman. She is well-articulated. Margaret Mwanakatwe is a woman of substance. She is well married. She's not a single, she, she was never a single mother. She had never gone through a divorce. So she was well respected then. And Margaret Wanakatwe has worked her way up and she's well respected today as well. So we cannot compare those two people. It's like comparing the sun and the moon, two different things. The sun brings sunlight to the we don't need, we do not need the moon when the sun comes out. When the sun comes out, it, it, it announces healing. It announces sunlight. It announces, it, it, it announces warmth. It warms us up. It's got so many beautiful qualities that we cannot compare with the moon. And when the sun rises, the moon has to go to bed. It's just the way it works. Two separate entities, the sun and the moon, they do not work together. The sun comes out and works for us during the day, and the moon comes out and works out during the night. And the moon is the, is the lesser light that provides light in the darkness. And it's got its own beautiful values. You cannot compare the sun and the moon. It's like Mutala Mwambata is the moon and one great Manakato is the sun. You cannot compare the two, two totally different people. So yeah, you can't compare, run your own race. Paul in, 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 in the book of Acts said, I have run a good race. I have fought a good fight. And now it's time for me to go. Margaret Monacato has run her race. Mutale Mwanza, you are running your race and you are doing a good job. You cannot compare the two. We are not if we, we, we Zambians as voters, we're not going to compare Mutale Mwanza here and Margaret Monacato. Yes, they, score, they could be comparison because it's the world we live in. But at the end of the day, we know who you both are. Margaret Monacato is a woman of substance. She's, 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 she's been part of the driving force in Zambia. When I was a little girl, I looked at Margaret Monacato. I was like, damn, Nishim Bishi. That woman is in Shimbi. You cannot compete. That woman went into the work market. You know what? A lot of women will look down upon. She was finance minister. I remember as a little girl, I don't have a CV. I've seen CVs all over being floated around social media. But I remember she was finance manager, CEO, or director, or manager. She was um, Ministry of Finance. She was she was traveling. She was. She, I remember when she worked for Barclays. By then, I don't know if Barclays is still uh, is still around in Zambia. She worked for Barclays Bank PLC, and I remember her in her uniform. And I was like, I wanna be like that woman, woman of substance. Margaret Manakato is a woman of substance. She's intelligent. She's an intellectual. Margaret Monacatwe is a woman of substance. And now that leads me to the next point. Margaret Monacatwe, when you come, when Mutale Mwanza wrote her post about bio oil or booze. Now, guess what? I cannot throw stones at Margaret Monacatwe for being an alcoholic. And I'm not even a doctor. I don't know if she's been prescribed as an alcoholic yet. But if she has, well, I would never throw stones on her. Do you know why? Because when I'm throwing this, this finger on her, Guess how many fingers are pointing at me? One, two, three, four fingers are pointing at me. So just one finger is pointing at Margaret Monacatwe. You know what? At the end of the day, Margaret Monacatwe may, may have, because she's such an intelligent woman, she may have faced something, a life, a life challenge. I don't remember as a little girl hearing Margaret Monacatwe being uh, an alcoholic. And if I, if, if, she, if it was mentioned, maybe I was too young to, to grasp it and process it. But at the end of the day, Margaret Monacatwe is a woman of substance. Something could have happened in her life that led her to mask pain. And as I told you, us as mental health workers, people like Margaret Mwanakatwe, are, they're our clients. They're the ones who pay us. They're the ones who put food on the table for us. So we're not going to point fingers at them. We're not going to condemn them and put up a post like that on social media to say, oh, what would you choose, bio or booze? Yeah, we all make mistakes. We need to be very careful how we point point fingers at others because the other four fingers are pointing back at us. We need to be careful before you point a finger at another person. You have to be very careful 
none of our lives are perfect. I personally have made mistakes. And people have called me to tell me that, do you know that that so-and-so was laughing at you because of your mistake of maybe it could be relationships, it could be money, it could be whatever. Oh, look, like somebody would be like, yeah, but Mbamona. she's even on holidays, but look at her. She, she failed in this, or she failed in that. And I'm, I just laugh because I'm like, this person who's pointing fingers at me, the other four are pointing at them. They've got so much trauma such that I'm better off in my situation because guess what? I own my mistakes and I work on them. And that's all that's important. Women, let's fix each other's crown. Get a crown, fix it. Fix it. You, you notice your other friend, is her crown is not okay? Get it and say, hey, honey. Hey, honey. Come on here. Let me fix your crown. Now, don't sit there and start pointing fingers and thinking you're better than the other woman. No. We're not in competition with anyone. We are running our own race. And guess what? At the end of our lives, we're going to say, I, run, I fought a good fight. I run a good race. And now it's time for me to rest. I have to pass on the button to the next generation. That's what it's all about. So we cannot compete. Mutale Mwanza cannot compete with Mangwe Mwana Kato. Mangwe Mwana Kato cannot compete with Mutale Mwanza. They, they've got different resumes. They're different women of substance. And at the end of the day, Margaret Mwana Kato could have gone through a situation that she's masking. And that's why she's, she, she, she would be taking alcohol to mask that pain. All of us have experienced things Life is made up of different situations. It's like a seesaw, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's the way life works. So at the end of the day, life has its ups and downs and all of us go through them. Nobody is immune to your ups and downs. No one. Write in your comment, in the comments, if anybody's watching this, write down and tell me anybody who's been immune immune to, to an up and to, to, to the downs of this life. I'd like to hear any of you. And, be, and, and I think I'll be able to give you an award. I will think of an award in my next video. First, I will not think of an award now because I am 100% guaranteed that nobody has a perfect smooth life. So I will think of an award once I get a, a, a message there I will send you some money, even $100. I will send you some money because you proved to me that your life's perfect. It doesn't have ups and downs. And each up or each down changes us. It evolves us. We're becoming, we change. We become different people because of our ups and downs. Some downs can be so bad and others have ended up committing suicide, becoming alcoholics, becoming abusers, becoming frustrated. They stop parenting well. It affects people differently. This, the ups and downs, like the loss of a loved one. It can be a divorce. It can be financially, you're going through a very terrible financial break, financial situation where you've lost your, 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 you've lost your investment, anything, anything can happen. And we're humans, we're not prone to any bad things to happen. And that, that's something that could have happened to Margaret Monacati. And because she's an intellect, Sometimes people like that don't speak up. And because of the community in Zambia, maybe if she spoke up, people would gossip. You love to gossip and you love to gossip on somebody, somebody's, uh, somebody's downfall. And maybe she had a situation in her family or herself. Something happened. Clearly not her career because she's still doing so well in her career. Yes. And so she's masking that pain. And we mask it differently. For me, I would never run to alcohol to mask my pain because alcohol is not my weakness. I've got other weaknesses that I would use to mask my pain. But for me, normally I run to I run to Jesus, my King of Kings and my Lord of Lords. Because that man, that man there, he's everything. He's the best husband. He's the best daddy to my kids. He's the best big brother. He's the best uncle. He's everything. So there's some people like us who've got our strength in Jesus. Some people don't have that. And you can't be pointing fingers at you because remember, the other four fingers are pointing at you. So Margaret Manakato running to alcohol is not something we should even put in a post. Yes, a lot of people gossip about alcohol, aha, alcoholism. Of course, being an alcoholic is not a good thing. 
especially for an intellect. But guys, life happens to people. We all have situations that happen to us. And that's exactly what happened. The other point I wanted to raise is we're not in competition. I, I've, 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 I've made this point clear. We're not competing against each other. We're running our own race. Cain and Abel were running their own race. Cain was a, was a vegetarian. He was a vegetable hunter. And Abel was a hunter. So he went and hunted an, a lamb and sacrificed to God. They sat on the table. Cain sacrificed um, vegetables. And God accepted Ab Abel's sacrifice and you could see it was it was well accepted and god accepted his sacrifice and and cain's sacrifice of vegetables wasn't accepted so cain decided to take abel for a walk in the bush and he killed him with a stone with a rock he hit him and cain died and and abel died and you know what happened when 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 cain killed abel god called him Cain, where is your brother? And Ab and Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? So rude. Like, seriously, so rude. So arrogant. Am I my brother's keeper? So, you know, this Cain had jealousy that had harbored him in him because his sacrifice wasn't, sacrifice, wasn't accepted. Abel was just running his race. And unfortunately, some people will hate you because you're just running your race. Because you're just running your race and doing the right thing. Some people will be jealous of you. They'll be angry with you. Like in this situation, Cain and Abel, Cain happened to, to kill the brother. And... The consequences were great, were, were really terrible. Cain was kicked out of the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve never saw their son ever again. He went there. And according to speculations, it's speculated that Cain became very angry and he was a very angry, bitter man. He was a violent man. And Cain ended up dying. I, I, according to speculations, it is said that the roof on itself, the, the house that he was living in, fell on him and killed him. The Bible clearly states, he who kills with a sword dies by the sword. And that's what happened to Cain. So at the end of the day, when we compare one with, with each other, we find ourselves becoming very jealous of another person, being very angry at another person. And we can end up, that, that's the beginning of witchcraft. We can end up killing other people, you know. We speak, we speak bad about people. I know people who hate me. I don't, I don't even do anything for them just because I'm in Australia, just because I'm living my life. And maybe I've gone on holidays once or twice or many times, who knows? And people are jealous. I've got, and some of these people I'm talking about are family members. So, you know, at the end of the day, jealousy just, it doesn't bring anything. It, bring, it just brings hatred, witchcraft. We can end up killing each other over things that are not necessary. You know what? When God created us, all of us have got one fingerprint. My fingerprint will never be the same as my children. It will never be the same as my partners or my mother or my father. We all have a different fingerprint. That's why when you commit a crime, you, you, if, if you leave fingerprints, they will know that it's you because you're the only one with that fingerprint. Where am I going with this? You're the only one with that fingerprint, which means you're the only one who can achieve the things you achieve. You're the only one who can succeed the way you succeed. So don't compare. You're running your own race. Buy oil or booze. No, both of them are all good in their own right. Margaret Monacatwe, in, in an environment where women were looked down upon if they succeeded. You know, I heard, a, I heard a man say, oh, she's successful because she uses bottom power. And I looked at him like, what the? Are you serious? Nobody's, women these days are working hard. They're studying. Look at Hillary Clinton. Look at uh, Michelle Obama, you know? At the end of the day, we're all running our own race and we're, we're winning. And at the end of the day, when you win that race, pass on the button to the next generation. You know, uh, mm, Barack Obama was the first black president of America. He ran his race. He's the only one who will forever be the first black Am American president. The lady, I've forgotten her name. She's the first black woman. She's Indian, but I don't know. They call her black. She's the first black woman who, who will be the first woman vice president in America. Michelle Obama is the first black woman who lived in, this, in, in, the, state, in, in the White House. 
with, with her two kids, they will be the first black people. And at the end of the day, we all find joy in them being the first. They give us pride. They give us joy. So everybody is bringing something good to the table. It's just like a meal. Each spice, we, you put salt, you put pepper, you put tomatoes, you put onions, you put cooking oil. Everything is adding to the flavor and making it taste good. So we're all running our, a race. We're all, we, we, we all are running our own race and we're doing a good job. Let's not compare. The sun and the moon do not compare to one another. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was one great man. He was in prison for 27 years when he left prison. All he said is, if I carry grudges in my heart, then I'm, I, I'm do not forgive, then I'm still a prisoner. And he was the first black president of South Africa. And we all love Nelson Mandela. He changed the world. And Nelson Mandela, up to now, his legacy lives on. So leave your legacy. Run your own race. Leave your own legacy. Come on, don't compete. The sun and the moon do not compete to, with one another. Margaret Mwanakato is a great woman of substance. Mutale Mwanda, you're a great woman of substance. And we're all running our own race. We're all here to win. And we're not here to compete with one another because competition brings anger, jealousy. Some people become witches, witchcraft stems from, from comparing with one another. And it's not necessary. I remember I had a cousin who thought I was always jealous of her. I remember she went to Zika's and she was like, don't tell Lucy that I'm going to Zika's. For those who don't know Zika's in Zambia, Zika's is one of the most expensive accountancy schools in Zambia. She was going to Zika's. She thought, don't tell Lucy I'm going to Zika's. I was never jealous of her. Her success was brought me a lot of joy. This is one person in the family who's succeeding. She's going to be an accountant. Isn't it beautiful that in the family, if you've got more successful people, you've got less people who are going to burden on each other. You've got less people begging for money from one another because everybody's successful. Everybody is running a good race and everybody's doing well. You know, poverty is a root cause of all evil. People who are poor, they, they suck off of other people. They suck, they suck over this, this, this father who has to look after a wife and his kids. You know, all of us are running a race. At the end of the day, jealousy doesn't help. Let's not compete with one another. People who've got trauma, for us who work in mental health, they are our clients. Those are the people we, 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 we want to work with. You know, I love Mahatma Gandhi, and you hear me quote Mahatma Gandhi a lot of times. He says, be the change that you want to see. And I want to see change. I want to see people whole. I want to see people who are masking pain. I want to help those people. So people like Margaret Monacatwe, they can, you, who knows, who knows one day when I become a psychologist or a counselor, she's going to be my client and I can work with her and change her life. And yeah, probably Mtelemanza has got her own insecurities as well. That's why she would think, she thought before she put up that post, she processed everything. She had thought about it. So by the time she was putting up that post, she didn't just wake up in the morning. Mtelemanza is a very intelligent girl. She's not an impulse person. And I can tell that by the way she carries herself on social media. She's a well-educated, intelligent woman. She thought about that. Now, for her to think about the fact that she could even consider comparing herself, na 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 na. She's masking her own traumas there. Maybe not trauma, maybe pain, maybe insecurities. We don't know. And lastly, I wanted to say I liked uh, what says Simon one somewhere was advised to her: take off those sunnies. Take off your market makeup, take off your hair, and just apologize. That's our mother. Margaret Mwanakato is our mother. We love her. She's the reason some of us have been able to achieve what we've been able to achieve in our lives. She's the reason we've been able to break barriers as women. Because women in Zambia are looked, looked down upon, especially women, women of color. We, we are looked down. Oh, you're a woman. For you to succeed, you're using your bottom, your butt, bottom power, or you're sleeping around to succeed. And Margaret Mwanakato was that woman who I looked up to and said, hey, Margaret, I want to be like you. And guess what? I'm still working to get to her. I don't think I'll ever get to be like Margaret. But thank you.
you, Margaret Mwanakatwe, you changed a lot of our lives, especially us little girls in the 80s when we were growing up. We saw you succeeding. We saw you just hammering your career. Like, like you are a woman of substance and we love you. And of course, when we hear somebody post a post like that, we will defend you because you're a mother. You're a mother, Margaret Mwanakatwe, and we love you and hope who oh, hope you win you, you you win your races, achieve your goals. Matala Mwanza, you are achieving your goals. You're doing a good job. Keep keep getting your goals achieved. Thank you. Bye, my YouTube, my YouTube family. Have a good day. Happy Monday.